Hi, I'm Forrest Higgins, CEO of the Boys and Girls Cubs of East County. Each one of our clubs is truly representative of their community, from Lakeside to El Cajon, Santee, and La Mesa. They, they represent each one of the pockets of community, and um, it's a blend. It is incredible to see the kids and the differences in their lives, but when they step into the clubhouse, they all become one, and, and that's the one thing that we always smile about. They're a Boys and Girls Club member, um, and that's first and foremost. Youth of the Year is a national program for Boys and Girls Cubs of America, and here is a great example of what a great Boys and Girls Club product is. My name is Kira Kepler. I attend the Lakeside Club. I feel that representing the Boys and Girls Club is a very big honor just because it shows that a small child coming in can do anything that they put their mind to. There's more than just coming here. There's, you know, being a part of it. The first time I can remember coming to the club, I was in kindergarten. I got out of school and I walked into the club and I just saw a lot of friendly staff faces and saw their blue shirts and it made me feel like I was a part of something bigger than just myself. The best part of my job is um, I get to peek out of a window and I can see a, a dodgeball game going on and uh, I have been known to go downstairs and jump into the middle of a dodgeball game. I think that's what keeps me going. I think that's the, that's the part that we got to remember, that laughter, that fun. I do have a lot of friends that were made like at the club. We were in the game room, we'd play some pool, do dodgeball, you know, just, just hang out. Kira epitomizes what, what it is to be a staff mentor and to see somebody grow up in your house and that you have helped them mature as well as learn and, and enrich their lives. And so I think it's one of the most amazing things that we get to do is to see them grow. My role has changed in many different ways because now I'm the older kid. I'm helping the younger kids with some life lessons. I've tried to help them understand things that they may not have understood. I'm there as a friend just to be like a big sister or just to help in any way that I can because any life problems, they're hard to overcome and sometimes you just need a little extra help. The most rewarding part of my job is seeing the successes of our kids when they triumph from simply a child learning how to read to a child going through a basketball clinic in the club and learning how to shoot. Seeing some of our staff, our mentors, and watching them grow, that's one of the most satisfying things to, to see. The staff are the main attraction. They're the ones that know about the kids and their families. They're the ones that know about what's going on in their lives and celebrate that time with them. If you think about the fact that a kid comes to our club 25 to 30 hours a week and spending that much time with our staff members, we definitely look at ourselves as another pair of parents too. My life with the staff has definitely changed. I help them out sometimes with their activities, trying to have the kids listen a little more, listen in the instructions. But when I was younger, I was, you know, the kid that was sitting listening to the instructions. One of the missions that our board of directors and our volunteers had put on us was that we are not going to stick it to our parents to pay uh, the entirety of what the fees are for the Boys and Girls Clubs. It costs about $563 a year for a child to go to the Boys and Girls Clubs, and we charge $50 on average for their membership. There's a big gap that we fulfill. Uh, and some of that is by having the special events that we have. One is our auction stampede, uh, another is our gala that we have, as well as a golf tournament and then an annual campaign. And that helps offset some of the fees that we uh, need to operate our organization. And, and the operational piece of it is something that uh, we want to make sure the kids are in clean, safe and fun facilities, as well as have the best mentors available too. I'm always looking back and saying, you know what, I don't see kids on the streets, I don't see them riding their bicycles. And then now it's dependent on youth development agencies like the Boys and Girls Club to provide that, to give them that freedom. And I think we're doing that, you know, we're exposing them to the arts and character and leadership and education and career development and health and life skills and sports, fitness and recreation. So the diversity of a day for a child is immense. The role of the club as it's a place to have fun. It's a place that can help you with problems. It can also be a place just to, to hang out and have fun with friends and make new friends, which is very important. <laughs> One thing that I see that hasn't changed is when a child tells their parent, you know what, mom, um, pick me up an hour later. They're having a lot of fun right now, and I want to stay here, and I want to finish this game before going home. And I think that's victory. We're doing the right thing then. If I were to have never had the Boys and Girls Club in my life, I think I'd be a completely different person. 
A lot of things about this club has changed me. And if it wasn't here, I don't know who I'd be. The club had made me strive to be the best person I can be. Coming every day and just being a kid and running around and laughing with you know the kids and the staff and just being us, just being kids, just wanting to have fun. It's the simple moments that I see when, when a parent is picking up their child and you hear the parent and the child say hello to one another. And you gotta remember that if the child was dropped off at 7.30 in the morning and the parent doesn't pick them up to 5.30, they don't get to spend much time with each other. And so that's my concert minor. I'm like, you know what, we do it because it's taking this village to raise these kids. It, it's taking all of us. Um, and so that's, that's one of those quick, quick moments that you're like, okay, this is why we continue to do this. This is the reason why we're here.